I want to know these things. <laughs> Speaking of shit, I was watching television recently. There you go. Yeah, just to remind myself why I quit years ago. Yeah, and I saw a commercial for uh, transition sunglasses. It said, in the future, sunglasses will change from light to dark when you go out in the sun. If you have transitions lenses, the future is now. So if I had them yesterday, does that mean that the future is in the past? I just wanted to buy a pair of sunglasses. I didn't want to upset the whole space-time continuum. Saw an ad for a blender. It was called the Magic Bullet. That's a good name. Because when I'm in the mood for a smoothie, I want to be thinking about the thing that supposedly killed JFK. They said it's called the Magic Bullet because it works like magic. No, it works like a fucking blender. Blades spin around, it blends stuff. That's how they work. Now you put a frog in there and a prince jumps out, then I'll give you a fucking magic. Saw an ad for Bud Light. It said, endless refreshment from start to finish. How can something be endless and have a finish? Seems a little contradictory. And could you imagine if there was such a thing as endless refreshment? Hey, you want a Bud Light? No thanks, I had one 15 years ago. I'm still refreshed. It's like Pepsi's slogan. Every Pepsi refreshes the world. Well then why do we need more than one? I've got an idea. Let's take a Pepsi and a Bud Light and mix them together. Refresh the whole world forever. <laughs> what else I see an ad for? I saw an ad for Crest White Strips. They say it'll make your teeth four shades whiter. Four shades. Is this an official unit of measure now? Shades? Yeah, how long does it take to work in about 10, 15 little whiles? <laughs> and what else did I see? I saw an ad for uh, Clairol Hair Dye. Said it's made from pure color extracts. What the fuck is a pure color extract? Light? Light is a color extract. I picture some guy standing outside on a sunny day with a bottle and a prism just going, Come on, this is taking forever. Yeah, and then I saw one for a Revlon mascara. It said you'll see your eyelashes growing longer right before your eyes. Well, no shit, that's where most people keep their eyelashes. I didn't think they were going to grow longer behind anyone's ass. What else I saw an ad for Direct TV. It said, don't just watch TV, Direct TV. So I called up the guy who did the commercial, and I said, cut, that sucked, do it again. Thank you. Then I saw an ad for Trojan condoms. It said, evolve. Use a condom every time. If you use a condom every time, wouldn't that stop evolution? <laughs> Curious whose idea was to call them Trojans in the first place. Whose idea was it to name a condom after a civilization who's most famous for being infiltrated? <laughs> I'm afraid to use these things. I'm afraid my sperm is gonna hide inside of a tiny wooden horse and just go right through. <laughs> yeah, what else did I see? I saw an ad for uh, naming a star after somebody. Oh, name a star after your girlfriend. That's kind of short-sighted, isn't it? Suppose you name a star after your girlfriend and about 200 years in the future, humanity actually goes to that star system. What if it's inhabited? That's gonna be awkward. They were like, greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to the home world of the Galactic Zaltaran Empire. And we'll be like, no, according to this, your name is Mary. <laughs> yeah, I was watching a program on uh, ancient aliens recently. They show these uh, ancient carvings, and, and they look exactly, exactly like the kind of spaceships that people see today. And I thought, man, aliens are fucking retarded. They have not improved their technology in 10,000 years. <laughs> Someday we're gonna be using space folding artificial wormholes. They'll be like, you assholes are still using saucers? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, thank you very much.